testimonies. Thank him and praise him for answered prayers, particularly your own prayers. And thank him this morning because his word is coming your way. Lift up your voice and let him hear you at this moment. Father, we give you praise and glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Father, again this morning, we thank you for the opportunity to be in your presence. Thank you for these amazing testimonies. Take all the praise in Jesus' name. And Lord, thank you for answered prayers. And right now, our hearts are open. Speak to us again by your word. Transform our lives again. And let your name be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We can make it louder. Please, you may be seated and put your hands together for the Lord. Praise the Lord, I'm more than a conqueror. Congratulations. All through this week in our covenant hour of prayer, our subject that you have been looking at is captioned, Engaging the God of Vengeance for Supernatural Church Growth. Engaging the God of Vengeance for Supernatural Church Growth. This morning, as we begin, let's be reminded of the fact that church growth is warfare. Can you say that with me, please? Again? This is a scriptural fact. What is warfare? No assumption. Warfare simply means spiritual conflict. Spiritual conflict. Warfare is waging of armed conflict against an enemy. The Bible makes it very clear in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 3 and 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 10. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. So, weapons are involved. Armed conflict against the enemy. And we are all aware this our enemy is not a physical one. That is the devil himself. But the good news is we have the God of vengeance on our side. And therefore, victory is sure every time. From this moment forward, you as an individual shall never lose any battle again. Yes. Let me hear you loud. Say amen. Amen. He said the weapons of our warfare are not kind of, but they are mighty through God. The mighty God is on our side. And therefore, mighty victory only is our portion from this moment forward. So church growth is warfare. And it is a battle against the strongholds of hell. It's a battle against the strongholds of hell. No one has ever seen hell with physical eyes, yet it is real. In the same vein, you might not have ever seen God with your physical eyes, but God is real. Say with me, God is real to me. So it's a battle against the strongholds of hell. If we look at that scripture again, it says very clearly, pulling down strongholds. Pulling down to the pulling down of strongholds. Therefore, any stronghold of the enemy trying to stand against God's plan and purpose for your life as an individual and the growth of the church of Christ must be brought down. Amen. Can I hear louder? Amen. Amen. What is a stronghold? A stronghold can be referred to as a bunker in court. It is a defensive structure. 
a structure that is meant for defense. That's a stronghold. Pulling down every stronghold. In other words, pulling down every defensive structure. Defensive structure that is strongly fortified. That's a stronghold. But glory to God, the weapons of our warfare are stronger than any stronghold of hell. Pulling down every, not some, not part, not mainly. Pulling down of strongholds. Therefore, in this season of Operation Change of Story, every stronghold of the enemy against the advancement and the growth of the church of the living God, including your own life, must come down. How will you come down? By engaging the God of vengeance. Psalms 94 verse 1. O God, to whom vengeance belongeth, show yourself. God will begin to show himself in our midst more than ever before. We see in the Bible a very graphic example of the man, the apostle Peter, and his encounter with a man called Simon the sorcerer. How he handled him. We saw how Peter, by the Holy Ghost, stopped the mouth of Simon the sorcerer with the power of God. He stopped his mouth. Acts chapter 8, verses 18 to 20. Acts chapter 8, verses 18 to 20. And when Simon saw, this is Simon the sorcerer now, not Simon Peter. And when Simon saw that through laying on of the apostles' hands, the Holy Ghost was given, he offered them money, saying, Give me also this power, that on whomsoever I lay hands, he may receive the Holy Ghost. Verse 20, look at what Peter said. Peter said unto him, Thy money perish with thee, because thou hast thought that the gift of God may be purchased with money. Thy money perish with thee. Peter did not keep on looking. He engaged the God of vengeance. And look at verse 9 of the same scripture. Look at verse 9. Who is this Simon? But there was a certain man called Simon, which before time in the same city used sorcery and bewitched the people of Samaria giving out himself was some great man so this man used to be a sorcerer and in some point and think in verse 13 he joined himself in verse 13 then simon himself believed also so he had been following them around he had been going up and down with them but at this point in time peter had to engage the God of vengeance, to stop the mouth of the one-time sorcerer. If you read on in that story, he eventually came and was asking that Peter should pray for him so that all these things would not happen to him. However, thanks be to God that Peter engaged the God of vengeance and God took over and the battle was won. From this moment forward, you shall never lose any battle again. Can I hear louder? Amen. Amen. One time we went out this year with our outreach team, and we got to this spot. People had gathered, but there was this one particular woman. She was so problematic. She was just making noise and talking. People were hearing and listening to the word of God, but she kept talking and murmuring and murmuring and talking. When it was time to make the salvation call, because I tried as much as possible to refuse to be distracted. When it was time and people were to give their lives to Christ, then she raised her voice the more. I was provoked in my spirit. I said, stop it. Okay, 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 okay. She kept quiet. So people raised up their hands, gave their lives to Jesus. Massive salvation to the kingdom of God. At the end of it all there, I said they should call her for me to come. When she came, I said, what is the matter? He said, eh, 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 I see, I see many winners around here. She didn't have anything to say. I want the church to come and repair this road. I said, you come to church first. We are not road repairers. You come to church first. 
when you come to church whatever you want to say bring your request he said okay okay please please pray for my daughter pray then she started calling i said i will pray for your daughter call her she called your daughter i prayed for her people were looking and wondering thank god souls were won into the kingdom of god every simon the sorcerer must be silent finally we must stop the mouth of all agents of the devil against scattering the flock of christ whether in church or when you go out on outreach isaiah chapter 8 verses 9 and 10 in closing isaiah 8 9 and 10 associate yourselves oh ye priests ye shall be broken in pieces let me hear your loud amen give here all ye of our countries guard yourself and you shall be broken in pieces guard yourself and you shall be broken say louder amen. amen three times in one scripture you shall be broken in pieces you shall be broken in pieces you shall be broken in pieces a threefold cord is not easily broken every gang up of hell against the advancement of the kingdom of god in this season in particular shall be broken in pieces and what is in this for me say with me change of story your story will yet change for the better please rise up on your feet this morning and lift up your voice every simon the sorcerer you shall be broken lift up your voice as you pray that vengeance prayer right now lift up your voice let heaven hear you right now pray that vengeance prayer and raise your voice and let heaven hear you right now Lift up those two hands and rescue all your new converts from the hands of all agents of the devil by invoking judgment and vengeance upon them. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. My prayer is that everyone's encounter in this season will last for a lifetime. Whatever truth you have not proved, cannot command proofs prove me now every truth demands that we prove it through obedience before we can experience it the taste of the food they say is in the uh, eating come and taste you can't tell the taste of any truth until you have tasted it please be committed to proving the truth of God that's driving this commission. Be committed to it. I can't tell you how it tastes until you taste it. You can't tell what is in obedience until you have obeyed. I've proved Matthew 33 for 46 years. So I, I, don't, I can't be confused about it. Is it valid or invalid? That can touch me anymore because I've proved it. David said, I can't wear this thing to war. I've not proved it. First Samuel chapter 17, and verse 38 to 40. And then 48 to 50, he went and proved what he has used and broke layer down. And devour to prove every truth that God is unveiling to us. 
That's where your confidence will rise from. I have proved it. I've found it so. God never lies. God never lies. I've proved Deuteronomy 38, I mean, uh, 8, 18, uh, for 40 years, 82 to date. I know abundant life is real. There is no gimmicks about it. There is no running around about it. It's not about the lucrativeness of your profession. It's about the blessing of God that's coming upon your life. Please endeavor to prove it. Endeavor to prove every truth at your disposal. You have two eyes. Can you make one to look up and one to look down? I'll prove that 39 years. It is treated. Never look anywhere, including myself, to see God do what he wants to do. Prove me now if I will not open you the windows of heaven. This do to prove the insights of your love. There must be proofs. There can only be proofs when we choose to prove the truth by obedience. There will never be proofs without proving it. Whether science follow those who are in pursuit of souls or not, I've proved that all my life. And you develop capacity for command the supernatural by going out to witness Jesus. He goes with you to confirm his word. The good news is the wave going on now is ordained to be for life. And it shall be for life in your own life. Imagine if all the farmers go on protest. For one year, two years, three years, there will be COVID hunger. That will lead to starvation and death. And mass death. And mass death. Every truth of scripture, like planting and reaping, is on and on for life. You stop famine sets in. You stop hunger sets in. You stop death against an inroad. In the precious name of Jesus, grace for sustainable obedience to every truth of scriptures that triggers proofs. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Lift up your two hands, everybody. And take hold of the day. Take hold of the day is your day. Take hold of the day is your day. We are in a conflict. You mustn't lose this battle. You must not lose this battle. You must not give up on the way. Take hold of the day. I'm not returning on Sunday with, with explanation. I'm coming in with manifestation. 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 Come on now. Take hold of the day. 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 Thank you, Jesus. For every engaging winner, I decree the release of your open rewards. For everyone that believes the prophetic word concerning the end of the seventh year, I decree your supernatural colorful release. For all those that are on key with this post-resurrection 40 days appearance of Christ, light from heaven that will enlarge your kingdom coast by revelation, receive it now. Yes. This season will not pass without your own story. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Now we have the flyers for this event. I mean, this coming Sunday service, business and career breakthroughs. We are supposed to come with our... Um, point of contact for the Holy Ghost to breathe on it and for life to take a new turn for you. If you can't believe in the purpose for wealth and miss it. If you miss the purpose, you have missed the manifestation. You are blessed to be a blessing, not blessed to be an accumulator, but a distributor. You can't distribute with covenant discretion and not keep enjoying the blessings of God in your life. 
business struggles, career struggles will end finally. That man said he got involved, he got engaged, even though he was in the nuclear field, but everything was at a standstill. Then suddenly things turned because he turned the key. Search for your hands and decree an end to every form of business frustration, business failure, career frustration, career failure on the life of God's people. And everyone that will respond to this invitation, they shall return with their testimonies in the precious name of Jesus Christ. All our trash and flyers are going out. Fire is on them. And they will keep producing results. Lift up those two hands, everybody. The day is declared your day. No distractions. No mishaps. Everything answering in your favor. Everything is answering in your favor. Everything is answering in your favor. Only good reports. Only good reports. Only good reports. Your open rewards has begun. In the name of Jesus and so shall it be thank you heavenly father don't forget the prayer session is on and the outreach is also on uh, on personal and um, partnership basis all you can do is all you should do all you can do is all you should do god is counting and he will openly reward every secret input of every individual jesus is lord lift up those two hands together share the goodness of the lord